we will now go through a use case on IoT or ITOT. This is a remote monitoring solution uh, that uh, is live across multiple facilities. And what you see here on the screen is an entire battery limit of a plant, providing a comprehensive view of the plant operations, giving us real-time insights as a part of the remote monitoring of plant facilities. We are capturing 15,000 plus tags or data elements that come in from different sources, the historian, the DCS system, and different sensors. So whether uh, it could be an energy sensor, it could be weight sensors, it could be flow meters and so on. This is a level zero monitoring view of a petrochemicals plant. So on the left hand side, you have the naphtha cracker unit and uh, you can see all the naphtha tanks and you can also see the different weights, uh, sorry, different volumes coming out here. Uh, you can see different KPIs being reported so some of the KPIs directly come in as inputs, such as the feed, whereas some of these KPIs involve real-time computations on the input data. For example, the yield is a computed KPI and so is the P by E ratio. So uh, all this gets refreshed on a real-time basis. And you can also see some of these KPIs in red. For example, you see the extruder load here is tagged in red. This is because we are able to uh, track whether the KPI values are within a certain operating curve. The operating curve uh, typically lies between the upper and the lower specification limits. And whenever a KPI goes beyond what's set in the operating curve, uh, if there's any deviation, it is highlighted as a part of the solution, alerts are triggered, and you can have different actions configured along with this particular alert. We can choose to drill down on from this level zero view so let's go into a level one view of the NAFTA cracker unit. So as a part of the level one view, this gives us the details of the subplant and covers KPIs related to operations, maintenance of equipments, production, quality, power, and utilities. For example, you can see which of the equipments are up and running. Uh, you can see decoke air is down. That's why it's in red. You can choose to do a drill down here. So when you drill down, you can see uh, further details for decoke air. You can track performance across different months. Uh, look at do the trend analysis and also do different root cause analysis. And these insights can help in preventive maintenance activities. Going back to our level one view, you can look at production KPIs, uh, such as the yield, the P plus, P plus E, and the feed. Uh, you can also look at the material balance. If you choose to drill down here, you can uh, see look at the trends across different months and do a month-on-month -month analysis. This can give you further insights. Going back, we can even do a tag level analysis. So on the tag level analysis, uh, all the different tags which are coming in, we can still select a few tags and try to look at the trends of these tags and also do a tag level correlation. For example, let us select a few tags here. So I select one and you can see uh, the trend across time over here. Let us select one more. So we add one more tag over here. And now you can see both the tags uh, you know, displayed across time. You can find correlations between these tags. If you want to zoom in on certain time periods, you can do that using the slider very easily. And this makes it, uh, you know, makes the user have a comprehensive view about what is happening in the plant. And all this is possible using the power of TCG MQ, which facilitates the real-time ingestion of data from different sensors, uh, you know, helps us depict that in very intuitive dashboards and uh, perform all these real-time calculations to help the user deep dive on any aberrations or anomalies.
thank you everyone for your time. Uh, I hope that through these use cases, we've been able to highlight uh, the power and the possibilities uh, using our platform TCGMQ.